so it's been a while since my last video forgive me it's been a hectic semester as taylor swift said nobody's heard from me for months hi everyone my name is carolyn and i just finished my junior year at purdue university studying computer science and in today's video i'm here to tell you all about my junior year the classes i took the extracurriculars i took and the difficulty level of them and the usefulness of these classes as a cs major so let's get started in my fall semester i took two cs classes and two non-cs classes the CS classes I took were CS348 and CS381. Starting with 348, um, this class is information systems and basically throughout the entire course we learned about SQL, um, object-oriented database. So throughout this entire class we learned about SQL, object-oriented database languages, relational database models, Basically, if I had to sum up the entire course, I would just say it's like learning SQL. My opinion on this class, it was pretty chill. There were about six homeworks throughout the entire semester, so it wasn't too bad. And we had one midterm exam and one final exam, as well as a group project at the end of the semester. Difficulty, I would rate this a 6.7 out of 10. It wasn't too hard. The hardest part about this class was actually going to class. I had this class on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. and it was horrible. I think I probably ended up not going to class more than I actually did end up going to class because it was just so late at night and it was a power hour and no one wants to be sitting in lecture on a Monday and Wednesday evening. Ugh. Usefulness, I'd say the usefulness for this class, the material is 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty easy class compared to a lot of the other classes that you might take. CS348 was one of my elective courses for my machine intelligence track. Next up, I'm going to be talking about CS381. So this class is the Intro to Analysis of Algorithms. This is Purdue's notoriously infamous, most hardest CS class to ever exist at Purdue. And it is as bad as people say it is. This class is fast paced. It covers way too much material for my brain to handle. And we basically just learned a bunch of algorithms. For example, the knapsack problem, weighted interval scheduling, uh, like max flow stuff like that i honestly forget everything that i ever learned in that class we had weekly quizzes and we had one midterm which was in september in the like six weeks into the semester it was so hard i did that was like the worst i ever did on an exam in my entire life like there was just so much material to cover and to like review for the exam that it's like just so difficult to to prepare for it insane insane let me tell you difficulty i would rate this a 9.5 out of 10 super hard it's just so much material it's not really like taught in a way that is intuitive it's just a pain in the butt usefulness i'd say it's an 8 out of 10 definitely a lot of useful algorithms that you can learn about in this class i honestly like i, I think it's a good foundation for a lot of like concepts in the coding world. Next up, my non-CS classes. I took EAPS 112, which is, I believe, called Geology Through Time. EAPS 112 is the class that I took for satisfying my lab credit requirement for the College of Science. This class was just also just like a pain to go through because there's just so much that it covers about geology that I had no prior knowledge about. But to make things a little better, just know that people who are taking EAPS 112 are likely also other College of Science majors. Um, covered a lot about fossils, rocks, a lot about Earth, Pangea. Difficulty, 8 out of 10, just because it was so unfamiliar, but it's definitely doable. For usefulness for CS in specific, I would say it's a 0 out of 10. You do not need to know geology at all or any of the material in this class to get through in the CS world, but it's for lab science. It's very good for fulfilling my major requirements. Last class I took of first semester junior year was Linguistics 315, which is phonetics. This is for my linguistics minor. I thought this was a really chill class. I used Prot, which is a software to analyze these spectrograms. I basically just learned a lot more about linguistics, which I'm really interested in, so I was happy to take this class. Now moving on to my spring semester. To preface, this was definitely the most horrible and worst semester I've ever had in my entire academic career. It was just really tough for me in all aspects, so just wanted to put that out there. I took two CS classes and two non-CS classes again. The first CS class I took was CS373, which is data mining and machine learning. This was for my machine intelligence track. It was a required class. I thought 381 was hard. 
373 is 100 times worse. I am telling you, okay? I am telling you now. 373, worse than 381. I could barely finish my homeworks in this class. We had one drop for homeworks and I had to use that drop on the second homework because I just couldn't get through it. Like, it was so hard. Like, homework one is like easy intro, right? Homework two is like the first real homework. I had to use my drop on the first real homework because I just couldn't do it. It's a miracle that I actually got through and passed that class. I am telling you. We learned, I don't even know what we learned in this class, to be honest. Like, I'm gonna embarrass myself by talking even more. So maybe just like look it up. <laughs> Do some research, mama. Just look it up. No, just kidding. Look up the course description and it'll probably have like a better overview. Like, I honestly didn't retain anything. My mind blank right now. Okay, moving on. Forgot to mention this, but for the CS373 midterm, I'm pretty sure the average was like 40 or 50%. I can't remember. But I know that the mode was like between 30 and 40% which is where I fell in between actually. So all my homies in 373 get 30 something percents on their midterm. Difficulty, 100 out of 10. Way more difficult than through CS381. Like CS381 seems like a breeze in hindsight compared to this mother effing class, okay? Yeah. You know what I do remember about this class? I remember K-means clustering and Gini gain and information gain. Take that how you will. The next CS class I took spring semester was CS471, which is Intro to Artificial Intelligence. This is supposedly a very easy CS class. It introduces a lot of artificial intelligence concepts. I still struggled a lot in this class just because it was a hard semester for me in general. I thought the topics were really interesting though. And the one thing about the CS class that I liked was that there was like an essay assignment at the end of the semester which is probably like the first time that i've actually been excited about an assignment in cs in all three years of my college experience so far just because i like writing uh, maybe i'm in the wrong field the essay we basically just had to talk about ai and how it relates to something in in the current world today for cs 471 we had four homeworks total we also had to do four projects along with those homeworks which were directly taken from uc berkeley's cs 188 class they were like the pac-man projects so if you search it up online you can definitely check it out for yourself check out the instructions and the assignments and stuff like that if you're interested i again found the topics pretty interesting but i still struggle a lot just in the class in general um but i still test so who's winning now Next, I took EVES 111, which is another geology class that fulfilled my lab science requirement. And this class was way worse than EVES 112, in my opinion. We had in-person lectures twice a week, and then we had eye clicker attendance, which if you don't know, it just like you have to physically be there to click um, on your clicker thing to track attendance. We had to do like these online connect assignments, which took for ever to do before every class and it was like due at 1 30 p.m the day of the lecture so like you had to do it before like way before class started so i missed like six of those assignments we also had in-person required labs every single week my labs were on friday mornings at 8 30 a.m and let me tell you that was hell like I remember specifically the first week of February, there was a giant snowstorm. I was pretty sure that Purdue was gonna cancel classes at that point, but I still had to go to Eve's lab. I dragged myself out of bed into the snowstorm at 8 a.m. to walk to my Eve's lab, and the snow was just like pouring down on me for this entire 20 minute walk. I was like, why is class not canceled? This is literal torture. And then I finished my Eve's lab, right? Whatever. I come back from Eve's lab, 20 minutes walk in the snow again. Right right after I get back, I get an email. Class is canceled for the rest of the day. Oh, are you kidding me? You mean I walked 40 minutes in the snow to Eve's lab for nothing when it could have been canceled literally that morning? It was a little torture, I'm telling you. 
it was tough. We also had lab exams and lecture exams. Unnecessary amount of exams. Difficulty, I would say it's a six out of 10. It's not hard, it's just annoying to have to go to Eve's lab and at like 8.30 in the morning. The number of times that my stomach hurt so much that I didn't want to go, but I still had to go. Like this is just like torture. Mm -mm, not it, not it, this is not it. Usefulness for CS, zero. Last class I took spring semester of my junior year was Linguistics 311. This is Phonology and Morphology, another class for my Linguistics minor. I really enjoyed this class. I thought it was structured really well. I really liked my professor. And it also had mandatory attendance just because we had pop quizzes every once in a while, but I didn't mind going. I only missed like one class in total. Even though it was at 9 a.m., like I still went. Now onto some of the extracurriculars that I did my junior year. I was part of Boilermake, which is Purdue's largest undergraduate hackathon, so I was part of the planning team. I acted as director of the board for the majority of my junior year. Um, our term ends around like March, so after March, I like my term ended, so I was I was just like back on the regular team. But yeah, as director, I had a pretty busy fall semester planning the entire event up till January where the actual hackathon took place. So that took up a lot of my time, but I really enjoyed doing it. I really enjoyed working with all these people and seeing the event come to life at the end. And the event turned out pretty great considering all of the circumstances, and I'm sure that this year it's going to turn out even better, and I'm very excited to see where it goes. For my other extracurricular, I'm a part of Alpha Kappa Delta Phi, which is an Asian interest social sorority on campus. I really enjoy being a part of it. I made a lot of great friends and a lot of great connections and a lot of, have had a lot of good experiences through this organization. This year, starting from spring semester in January, I became, um, I became the VP of Service and Philanthropy on the board of so I allotted a lot more time to it. Basically my responsibilities just include keeping track of service within the organization and also planning any events that surround our national philanthropy which is breast cancer awareness. So yeah I have finished my junior year for over a month now and um, although it was a hard year like I was really happy to be back on campus seeing everyone. Overall it was still pretty fun experience like when I look back at junior year I don't think about like the hard times think about think about the good times oh maybe i should cut this out so yeah i'm gonna be graduating in a year which feels so surreal i literally started this channel when i was a senior in high school so almost four years ago i really want to try and upload more frequently but i'm just i don't know i get shy yeah let me know if you have any questions you can dm me on instagram at Caro Chens. I think that is the easiest way to reach out to me. I'll answer any questions that you may have about Purdue, about CS, about life. I really hope this video was helpful in some way to you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, please. Boiler up. Bye!